What's cracking, YouTube? This is Chainlink1 TN here, and I'm giving you a deck profile of my Infernoids because I think it's about time I do an update of how they look like now post Cross Souls. And as you see, the sexy ass fucking method I uh, got for getting first place on the Sneak Peek tournament, so I'm pretty proud of that. It's my first ever Sneak Peek mat, so yeah! Get this debut my fucking deck on this mat like a boss. But alright, let's get to the deck profile, alright, shall we? Alright, starting off for the Infernoids, I got. One, two, Infernoid Anunkus. Um, I originally decided I wanted to put it at one uh, because of the new card, Deviati. That's what I'm about to explain next that came out. But two is that this card is actually quite important. He's actually still has a role, and putting him at two was still just exactly where he needed to be. After that, yeah, like I said, the bay of the deck, Deviati. That's my favorite Infernoid of all Infernoids. It's a heavy storm that negates monster effects and then banishes said monster. And I 2 0 Necros with this shit, so <laughs> this card is fucking good. It's exactly what this deck needed. And it's a mandatory must-have run, too. So, yeah. After that, I got... 3 of Tondal, because uh, Tondal attacks twice if he destroys a monster by battle. And sends it to graveyard, so that's never a bad thing. He's a 28 beater, so I mean, he <laughs> fuck yeah, I want kind of want that shit. After that, I got three Sidemus. My next favorite card now it was my favorite Infernoid in this deck, but now because Lilith kind of took that spot, it's my second favorite. Because after it attacks a monster at the end of the battle phase, banish whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't target and just psh, says banish whatever the fuck you want in the field, and that's pretty fucking dope. After that, I got. One, two, Petrulia. What? Not three? Blasphemy. Let me tell you why. Um, I'll actually explain to you further in detail as I go further down the deck list of why I only run two. And I'll just give you for one. I only run two Petrulias, Harmadix, Antras, and now Permias as well. And I'll explain that to you in just a short moment as well. But let's continue on with the um, Inferno, shall we? Two Harmonix, like I said. This one pops for monsters. The Patrulia I just showed you pops uh, spells and traps. So, I mean, Ar Harmonix, he's really not that great in this format. This is not his format. But he's a $20 card for some oh, godforsaken reason. That. Two Entra. And then. Two Permias. And like I said, I only run two be of each because I'll explain it to you once I get into my spells and traps. And that's it for the Infernoid Monsters. I'll show you the non-Infernoids that I run in this deck. I got one Chaos Hunter. Um, I used to run that monster, this monster at two, but I just decided to drop it at one. Again, I will explain to you guys in just a short moment. But uh, he is fucking amazing against so many different things. He fucks over Necros. He can't Banish shit. He can't Valk. He can't Trish. Fucks over Ritual Beast. They can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Fucks over Mirror Match. Because, yes, I've actually started to play a lot more Mirror Matches nowadays. Because it's this deck's starting to gain a lot more popularity. About goddamn time. But at the same time, it's like, well, fuck me. I don't want, I want to be the only Infernoid guy in, time, in town. But, fuck it. It is what it is. So, I'm, I come prepared. There's that. After that, I've got... Two Raiden... Um, a lot of people play three, some people play only one, play one, sorry, I couldn't speak for a second, but some people only play one, but, um, I play two just because it is searchable, it's recyclable, um, and all that good jazz, uh, I don't need to clog my fucking, uh, main deck with fucking a shit ton of, uh, reasoning targets, because yes, this is mandatory, you run reasoning in this deck. Not that I got two luminous is the last of the monster count. Uh, two Luminas, that's pretty standard. You don't really want to run three. You don't really want to run one. I've tried running it at one. <laughs> Not a good idea. But yeah, that's the monster lineup for this deck right now. Uh, now we'll go to the spells and talk about those. Starting off, standard three reasoning. Because it's fucking reasoning. That's how you play the game. Three Void Seer. A lot of people play two. But when I've watched the um, the videos on YouTube and whatnot, so many people said they wish they had played a third one because it's just that fucking good. And I play, I have not had any regrets putting it at three. It's won me so many fucking games. It's kept me alive against Necros, uh, Shadal, since they're not making a fucking comeback. Uh, you'd think that'd be easy for me to uh, match up against, but now apparently they, they have a couple cards and they're up their sleeves that can uh, fuck me over, so... 
Yeah, that card saves ass. And it's now searchable, too. All the void cards are fucking searchable. After that, I got two Charger Life Brigade, because thank God this card's at, th at two. I wish it would... It'd be cool if it was at three, but I am perfectly fine with it being at two. It searches out my... My Light Sworns, and of course, it mills the top three cards in my deck, which is never a fucking bad thing in this deck, because this is like Dragon Ruler Light Sworns mixed into one fucking engine. So instead of having just Dragon Rulers and Light Sworns in one deck, we literally they just said, hey, fuck it, we'll combine them and make Infernoids. And so that, I got the two new cards Void Vanishment. Holy fuck, is this card amazing! I used to undervalue it before it came out, I was like, eh, it's not that great. No, after using it in action and whatnot, and just like actually playing it, it's so much better than I actually gave it credit for. Because all those searches, like getting that Void Seer right to your fucking hand, know that your opponent knows, fuck, there's nothing I can do but to his monster because he knows that Void Seer is just right the fuck there. And it's like, even if you fucking like Mind Crush it, it still has a purpose in the graveyard, so I don't give a fuck. So that's why he's there. That's why I have two. Not three, because, I mean, I feel like that'd be a little too cloggy, and I'm not a huge searcher. In this, this deck doesn't really do so much searching. That's part about it. And now I only have four search cards, but fuck it. It is what it is. And after that, two monster reincarnations. And this is the reason why all the little dudes are at two, Chaos Hunter's at one, and then I have all the Light Swords shit at only four Light Swords, basically. This card lets me recycle everything, all the fucking monsters, and I've tested it out at one of my locals already. Fucking amazing, have not been disappointed with it whatsoever. Never dead in my hand, I've, so far I have not drawn into it dead, and if I do, set it. If I am going to get, like, draw that top deck that, and I have nothing to use, how, nowhere to use it, or no, no ability to use it, well then fuck it, set it, bait your fucking opponent. Next turn, they left it alone, you draw a card, and it's a card you don't fucking need, trade it for a monster that's in your graveyard, and then that you do need, so there you fucking go. After that, the singles, got one monster gate, wish it was at three like an OCG, because this card is fucking amazing. I would really hope it just comes to two this next format uh, on the ban list, I really hope it does. But if in the event it doesn't, oh well, it, it's, it is what it is. One fucking um, burial from the different dimension recycles the infernoids of uh, standard, and of course the last but not least for the spells, one galaxy cyclone. I wish I had to, but I'm not gonna drop money for a second one. I got lucky enough and pulled this one when I bought the box, and yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now. It's not a mandatory card, but it is very useful in this deck, just because it's a mill deck. A lot of people have uh, this all miscon misconstrued uh, ideology ideal that uh, ideology there we go that galaxy cyclone is such an amazing card really it really fucking isn't it really is not it's it's mst is so much better just because mst is a quick play can target whatever the fuck spell and trap and yeah and yeah well yeah <laughs> and this it's like it's not even a it's not a quick play fate the field effect only targets uh set cards and the graveyard effect only targets face up and it's only during your main phase one, or not nah, not main phase one. It's just main phase. Um, it's slow. It's very slow. It's only good in mill decks because if you mill an MST, it's useless. But if you mill this, at least it still serves a purpose. So that's why I have it, and that's my little spiel on that shit. But now let's go to the traps. Ugh, there we go. I'm running two mistakes used to run three but now that i'm actually doing a little bit more searching i can drop it down by one but it's mostly to combat necros um because this is my competitive deck and whatnot so uh, and also because uh morgan nish if you guys don't know from the la regionals he got third place at the la regionals out of 400 plus people or some shit like that and he goes to my locals so and i yeah i kind of don't like losing to him i've only beaten him once with this deck uh, and I hope to do it again soon, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to the tournament this weekend, so after that, two out of the voids. A lot of Inferno players gave this card a lot of shit just because of the effect of negate the, the Inferno monster's effects until the end phase. But who the fuck cares? Because if you think about it, it literally says special summon one Inferno monster from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. You have a Lilith in hand uh, on the field, right? Cool, sweet. You just draw into a Nochu. Bam! Now you got your two big beaters that can negate whatever the fuck they want, and it's all his. And the 
the one you summon through this card, his effects are only negated until the end phase. You get him right after that. And you have a Void Seer to protect it just in case something happens to it that whole turn that you have to wait. Oh, shit. People complain. Like, what if what happens if you're under Iron Wall and you have this? This gets you out of that shit. So that's why this card is good. It keeps you playing the game. And after that, I have... One... Two breakthrough skill. Breakthrough skill is fucking good in this format. Monster negation, monster effect negation is really important right now because I do not want to deal with fucking all these other monster effects that just do some stupid shit. Like for example, Trishula, ain't nobody got time for that. Or for example, like say for those in Evil Swarm players out there, because yes, that is actually becoming a thing once again. Because I mean, no, as long as Konami keeps making level five and higher monsters like Synchro Summoning shit, Ritual Summoning shit, uh, Fusion Summoning. Oh, evil swarms will never fucking die. So that's oh, also gets me out of that if I want to summon my bigger dudes. Um, and then just any other things like um, anything that would fuck me over, essentially. The fucking construct, for example. If I want to crash against it, kill it because all my monsters are special summoned, there you go. Breakthrough skill. Kills that shit too for Shadals. There's a Trivier in the field. I'll kill that shit. If there's a fucking Deltros, kill it. All that, all that shit, bro. So that's that's what it's good for. That's what that shit's good for. And then last but not least, the last two cards that I run in this deck for the main. Two Spiritual Fire Art Karenines. Because this card is fucking hilarious in this deck. Because as we all know, Infernoids are all fires. And say you have a Nochu, right? Summon a Nochu, Nuke Field, or Nuke Monsters. And say he's now protected under Void Seer because you have one in hand and you know your opponent doesn't really have the answers to combat that. So you attack for 3k, right? Say you have two of these set. Um, attack for 3k. Activate the Spiritual Fire at Karenai. Tribute it, inflict another 3k. You still have enough resources to summon that Anochu? Sweet. Summon that bitch, inflict an, uh, activate the other one, inflict another 3k, you win. Auto win right there. Like that. that's fucking good. That's the OTK right there with just these, those three cards. So that's why this card is in the deck. It's really fucking good. It just pushes for that game. And uh, it catches a lot of people off guard because they're not prepared to see that shit. Alright guys, that's it for the main deck. That's a 44 card main deck. Now I'm going to show you guys the fucking side deck before I show you guys the extra deck. So starting off for the side deck, I got one Christia because reasoning into that and it's a Vanities on steroids with legs. Two end of Anubises to fuck over Burning Abyss and Shadals because they they love the graveyard and I don't it doesn't hurt my Infernoid summons at all because they're all inherent summons. So fuck yes. One Jinzo just in case there's a trap heavy deck that I need to take care of. Well then there's a Jinzo and I only have one Jinzo otherwise I probably have two in here. After that one Spell Cancer same reason I only have one Spell Cancer but that's for Necros and anything that's uh, spell card heavy is reliant. After that I got. One, two, Trap Eaters, because Trap Eater gets rid of the fucking problematic trap cards that uh, my opponent would have, i.e. fucking Imperial Iron Wall, because everyone is, almost almost everyone and their mothers is sideboarding that shit. So that's a great way to get over it, because now I have a level 4 Fiend Tuner that's 1900 attack, and there I can make my Synchro plays, or I can make rank 4 exceeds right there. To that, I've got... Two noblemen of crossouts for them Shadals, or anything that just likes to have their shit set and likes the graveyard. Oh, it works against the Yang Zings also, because I just watched um, fucking the YouTube Grand Championship on YouTube like 20 minutes ago, and congratulations to you, um, 87 Shona, for being that fucking badass. Um, that year, I was talking to you earlier on the fucking Facebook, but yeah, congrats, man. But this is also to take care of you as well, because since you like to set shit, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna banish all your shit. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's that. Two Book of Eclipses. I'm actually might take those out, not only because um, I ha I can have other answers, searchable answers to get over Necros. Like for example, Aaron Lightsworn Monk. That shit gets over Necros as well, or the Jinlock specifically. But I mean, this card Book of Eclipse has its utility, so that's why they're still in here for now. But I might actually take those out. And after that, I've got for my traps. I got two Light Imprisoning Mirrors. Uh, you already know why. And two Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors. I uh, only run two and two of each because the decks that I would need to run these against, my whole deck can all practically take care of it myself itself. So this just gives it a little extra 
push, you know? So that's why I have these there. And then for the extra deck, the one of the few things I go into, but it's there if I do need it. Starting off, I got No Thung the Starlight, the fucking Blackwing dude, because it's a generic rank 6, and he's the cowboy of the deck. He's only in there to cowboy and to make my opponent's monster lose 800 attack and defense. He's, he's actually, I've summoned quite a few times, and it's funny, I've actually gamed somebody with it instead of summoning cowboy, because I don't run cowboy in the deck, so I figured this is, I synchro summon more than I exceed summon, so that's why I run this fucker more, so he's there. After that, I got a Black Rose, because it's Black Rose. A fucking Michael, because of Lumina and uh, Raiden. And extra mill power. It mills three after every end phase. And I get to banish something on the field by paying a thousand life points. Oh, the fuck well. One, Yowzy, because it's Yowzy. Because Yowzy's amazing. Um, he can't be targeted. That's why he's there. That's literally why he's there. Some decks just scoop to this fucking card. Even if he's not all buffed the fuck up. Uh, but yeah, that's why he's there. After that, because I just got it. Uh, Clearwing Synchro Dragon, because this card is fucking amazing. Oh man, does it wreck Shadals. And it can hurt Necros pretty bad too if they don't have Unicorn in the field. So, And if they do, pshaw, break their skill that shit. There's a reason for that. After that, I got Scrap Dragon, because this gives me that popping power and whatnot. Um, I used to run the fucking um, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend in here, but I just thought... I decided that I already have enough monster nuking on the field as is that I actually need something that specifically pops shit. So this is a great way to clear your field if it's too clogged and you can't summon Infernoids. And uh, it gets rid of any problematic cards that your opponent might just have. After that I got Angel of Zera because damn this card gains so much attack the more it banishes your opponent, the more you banish your opponent's cards and he just becomes a very quick beat stick and if he's ever in your graveyard so I don't ha I used to do this combo but I, I, don't I took out the card but um, I used to run the soul release in this deck this card's ever in your graveyard activate soul release banish the angel of Zera and four cards in your opponent's graveyard on your standby phase it comes right the fuck back and guess what it just gained 400 more attack because of that it becomes a 32 beat stick for shits and giggles so that's why he's really good in this deck. After that, I got one Crimson Blader, because oh, that's such an important card nowadays, especially since uh, the top, um, the fucking, whatchamacallit, the top two tier decks, um, being Shadals and fucking um, Necros, and now, now, now that Cleaforts are making a comeback. This takes care of all that shit, since... Uh, they always want to special summon their high beat sticks just to make a play, so this gets rid of all that shit. So it makes it makes them not play Yu-Gi-Oh for a whole turn, and that's amazing. And then that's it for the synchros. Now to go in the XC's monsters, I got Lavavo Chain because it's Lavavo Chain, Exiton because it's Exiton because it nukes field, Gemini Pearl because it's a normal monster. I actually took out the Scrap Archfiend. I used to run it, but um, I just kind of didn't have any more room for it, but I'm actually still evaluating my extra deck. For now, I actually might find a way to put it back in. But for now, this is what it is. This is a normal monster. This is a great way to OTK somebody with this monster, since it's a normal monster. It doesn't apply to the Infernoid uh, restrictions. And yeah, he's just an overall good card. He's a 26 beater. And after that, I got Big Eye, because it's Big Eye, a fucking Mr. Steel girl, another version of it. Second Drakes, because it's more popping shit, and then it gives me tokens that I can use to tribute to either banish shit in my opponent's graveyard, or use it to negate either a spell or trap with a Nochu, or a fucking monster effect with Lilith, which I call her Lilith, Deviati sounds lame, Lilith is love, Lilith is life, but yeah, that's what that's there for, then after that I got Felgran, because it's Felgran, and then I have Heliopolis to more popping power and shit. And that's it for the extra deck, and then I have my sexy abode of Infernoid tokens, because that shit's the tits! I used to run Void Expansion, but I decided to take it out once again, because um, it honestly, even if it is searchable, it is still a little too slow. But it is what it is. Um, but yeah, this has been the deck profile for Infernoids. This is Post Cross Souls. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. Uh, please like and subscribe to Card Sharks Team Ninja. And, um... Or it's Car... Uh, I'm sorry, not Car Tricks Team. Wow, I fucked that up. Ah, that's my other channel. But uh, please subscribe to Chainlink 1TN. <laughs> and it's not even called Car Tricks uh, Team Ninja anymore. But anyways, please subscribe to Chainlink 1TN. 
and uh, comment, like, and subscribe, all that good goody shit. And then um, let me know what you guys think of the deck profile. I'll be making another video this weekend to let you know how the deck did. If it did well, if it did bad, if it did well, well, I'll definitely be able to tell you guys. I'll definitely tell you guys. But if it did bad, well then, fuck it. Um, but yeah, this has been the deck profile. This is Chainlink1TN signing out, alright? Deuces, guys. Thank you.